Good afternoon, Facebook, and welcome to the four o'clock hour on Give to Cobb County Day, May 7th, 2020. And what a historic day so far, not only just for the Egyptian theater, uh, but for all of the nonprofits participating today in Give to Cobb County. We are currently at a record number of donations today, a record uh, total uh, donation amount for all the nonprofits and a record uh, number for the bonus pool for the Egyptian theater. We are also at a record number of uh, donations uh, that have come in so far. So we are th so thankful to all of uh, the donors out there that have supported. At this time, we are currently at $22,685, 127 donors so far just for the Egyptian theater. So we are so thankful for all of those. A big thank you to uh, the donors that have donated here just in the last hour. Gibson and Jessica Sima, Gary Moberg, John and Dee Martin, another anonymous donor, the Hanold family, Mike Angel, uh, one of our great volunteers here, donated $91 in honor of the 91 years since the original groundbreaking for the theater, which we just celebrated that on May 1st. So thank you, Mike. That is awesome. Uh, he also, or his dog also donated. Holly the dog Angel, maybe someday I can come lay on your pretty new carpet. So thank you for all of those donors. Uh, thank you for all the dogs, cats, and chia pets out there that have been donating today in support of the Egyptian theater. So today we are raising funds for new carpet here in the theater as we finish up our expansion project. We've got one of our samples here. This is the carpet that's going to be here in the theater in the aisles, up in the balcony on the steps, and then there's a different carpet that we showed earlier that will be out in the lobby spaces. Uh, we've gotten a lot of questions. Don't worry, the original tile floor in the lobby will remain, uh, but anywhere that currently has carpet will have uh, the new carpet. So that's what we're raising money for today but it really is much more than that. It's going to help us continue with our 90 plus year legacy here and allow us to continue doing so many events, both community-wise, touring events, movies, private events. Uh, so we really appreciate your support. Now, if you're interested to learn more about the expansion and everything that's going on right now, uh, we're dramatically increasing our restrooms, concessions, storage, and for the first time since 1929, adding air conditioning so we can be open year round. So we're very excited about that. If you wanna learn more about all of that, you can join us right back here on Facebook on Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. for our virtual hard hat tours. We used to do in-person hard hat tours while construction has been going on over the last year, but with COVID-19 right now, we've gone virtual and it's actually been great. A lot more people have been able to join us and tune in on those tours. So again, every Tuesday night at 5.30 p.m., you can join us for a virtual hard hat tour live on Facebook. If you're interested in seeing some of those previous ones, they're all posted on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube page. So you can go back and see what you've missed. Each week we give updates as to what progress has taken place. We still have contractors in here every single day uh, moving along so that the day we can reopen with events again, that we will have things ready to go. And speaking of construction, we've got a wonderful special guest this hour that's been with us every single day for uh, almost a year now. Uh, Sean Chapman with Irving Construction uh, is the foreman on site here, making sure everything moves along and uh, is up to par. And he's our special guest this hour with Janine in our interview suite. So I'm gonna send it to them uh, to talk all things Egyptian theater construction. Thank you, Alex. And I am here with our next guest at the top of the hour as we go live on Facebook, John Chapman with Irving Construction. Thank you for joining us today, Sean. Thank you. So, as you know, we're talking with all different people about uh, Give to Cobb County today. So you've been very active here since May 1st of last year when we started construction on this great historic Egyptian theater. So can you tell me what's been your favorite part so far of this project? Uh, actually, just getting to learn a lot about the history of the existing building and uh, I think fulfilling a need with the new bathrooms and the much larger capacity bathrooms is going to be huge for the theater. And uh, working with the staff has been great. Yeah, and speaking of Irving Construction, Steve Irving was obviously here in the renovation in 1983. How do you think that impacts and maybe benefits the theater to have someone, a company that's been around since then, now working on another restoration here. Sure, well, Steve's definitely familiar with the building, <laughs> so that helps big time. Um, but just being familiar with the building is huge. And then what's the 
challenge because obviously Irving has done historic projects like the courthouse and then obviously newer projects like building a brand new expansion onto Oakcrest. What's the challenge that comes with having to almost reverse engineer a historical building so that you're connecting a brand new modern amenity with something that was built in 1929? Sure. It's huge. It's, it's very challenging working on a building that was built in 1929 because you don't know what to expect until you tear into it so you can plan as much as you can, um, but then you never know what you're gonna see when you get into it. What have you found has been the biggest challenge? Has there been one thing that's happened where you're like, oh, or has it just kind of been the whole process? Overall, things haven't gone bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's always good. For what it could be. Um, we've, we've plugged right along with anything that's come up, uh, nothing major. And so, as we're getting towards the end of the project and opening up this summer, what do you think uh, part of the expansion is going to be the most impactful on our patrons? I think the first thing people see when they walk in is going to be the larger foyer or uh, larger lobby mm -hmm. and the expanded foyer upstairs. I think it's going to be uh, quite a shock to a lot of people. Do you have a favorite part of the expansion? Is it a bathroom, carpet? I thought the bathrooms were really cool at first, but now as we're getting further along with the expanded foyer, I think that's going to be a really cool space. That will be a really cool space. So. You've obviously grown up around here. Do you have any favorite memories of the Egyptian theater? I remember being here as far back as elementary school, coming here for stuff. Um, I remember coming here for uh, the haunted houses many years ago. Just a lot of memories. In fact, one of my first memories I would say was uh, coming here in elementary school and looking up and seeing the twinkling lights. That's, that's one of my favorite memories too as a little kid. Um, and then kind of talking about we're in a very unusual situation with COVID-19 and uh, a lot of people are having to stay at home. How do you think arts and the Egyptian theater maybe in general are gonna help people come back, come back to normalcy, come back to experiencing stuff together in a room full of people? This is very odd with not being able to hang out <laughs> with big groups of people. And I think uh, this is one of the best examples of a place where a large amount of people can come get together and, and have some fun. Uh, I think this will be excellent. And then final question, as, as a nonprofit, we are participating in Give to Cobb County today. Why should people support something like the Egyptian Theater? I think the Egyptian Theater is one of the greatest assets in the community. It's wonderful history um, and very active still today. Very much, very well said. We've heard from someone who knows this building inside and out, top to bottom. So thank you again for joining us thank today, you. Sean. And we'll throw it back to Alex in the studio. Thank you so much, Sean and Janine. Uh, Sean's got a lot of stuff to uh, get closed up here at the end of uh, another construction day here. Uh, so we thank Sean for uh, joining us for a little bit here to answer some questions. And uh, we look forward to seeing uh, the finished product as it's coming together. And like I said earlier, you can join us on Tuesday nights for our virtual hard hat tours live on Facebook at 5.30 p.m. every Tuesday. So we have another donation come in uh, during uh, our last interview there. We're currently at $22,735. A big thank you to Kate Schnorr who donated uh, here just recently online. Again, you've got till midnight tonight to uh, join in on all the fun here on Give to Calb County Day. You can go to lightscameradonate.org, make your donation to the Egyptian Theater, and remember every donation you make online is proportionally matched by the bonus pool that's currently well over $130,000. And so every donation you make today online through that website is going to be proportionally matched and go even further helping the Egyptian Theater for another 90 years. Uh, and Janine mentioned uh, just in the previous hour our additional uh, challenge bonus that's out there right now. Uh, when we announced it, it was if we could raise another $2,000 by 6 p.m. We had a group of uh, anonymous donors that put $2,000 together for us and will unrelease uh, that back into our donations uh, if we can reach that goal. So if we can get to $24,380, that's what gets us to the $2,000 additional since that was announced. That will unlock another $2,000 and will push us way over our goal of $25,000. So thank you for everybody that's donated so far. And a big thank you to those that are uh, maybe finishing up your work day uh, and getting ready. You still have till midnight tonight, so don't worry. You still have plenty of time. 
very easy. You can go online to lightscameradonate.org, make your donation online, and make that count towards uh, the bonus pool. Not only the bonus pool through Give to Cow County, but that additional match that we have going on right now. So uh, we're going to close it up here for this hour, and we will be back again at the 5 p.m hour at the top of the hour with another special guest and update. We're continuing that through 9 p.m. tonight. And don't forget, we've got a special announcement coming at the 9 p.m. hour. So we're really excited. Janine and I will share that news with you. So make sure you're tuning in every hour and we will see you back here very soon.